Taking our sights to the state house where a stacked race for Iowa House District 34 is underway. As you can see here, uh, four Democratic candidates are vying for the seat covering part of Des Moines. Let's take a look at where those numbers are stacking up right now. And uh, topping this right now, Rob Johnson at 43%, but Sammy Alberudi is very close behind uh, with 40% there. John R. Campbell Jr. and Dudley Muhammad uh, trailing behind Rob Johnson and Sammy Alberudi right now. Local 5's Larissa Leone is live at Rob Johnson's watch party. Uh, Larissa, what's happening out there? Oh my goodness, Stephanie, the energy in here is absolutely electric. Rob Johnson, it was a tight race for House District 34, but uh, you're pulling ahead. What do you think about that? You know, I just believe God is good. You know, we, it took a lot of people, it took a lot of hard work to get us where we are today. Um, yeah, it was my name on the ballot, but it was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears from the people you see in this room, from my nephew standing next to me. Went on many of, of those walks with me, walking for hours and days, going up and down, talking to voters, connecting with people. We did everything we could, from my campaign manager to our street team to our canvassers. We did everything we could to pull this thing out, and I'm grateful to God and the people for this opportunity to do what we're going to do in this area. We have a lot of hard work ahead of us, but I'm grateful for this moment. And you even um, got the endorsement of longtime representative Akeo Abdul Samad. He's been a mentor for you. Talk to me about how um, his influence has helped you. You know, there can only be one Akeo. Uh, people say all the time, how are you going to fill those shoes? And I tell them those shoes can never be filled. Akeo is Akeo. Only thing that we can do now is we can only hope to carry forward what he has already laid down. If it wasn't for a chaos foundation, if it wasn't for him doing the groundwork, there would be no Rob Johnson. There would be no Deidre DeGene. There would be none of this happening. A KO put the work in, and we have an opportunity to carry that forward. We are walking on a pathway because he helped lay it. And so for that reason alone, I'm grateful for him. I'm grateful for his tutelage. I'm grateful for his mentorship. And most of all, I'm grateful for his friendship. You had a lot of uh, amazing energy once the announcement was made here at Doco Pizza. Um, talk to me a little bit about how this support has been. You know, uh, this was a hard fought race. It came down to the wire, every vote counted. And I really want our community to know that your voice mattered. You mattered. Your vote counted right here in this race, in this moment. So every single phone call, every single reshare on social media, every single time that somebody invited somebody to the polls, it was because of you that we're here. It's, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't just us, but this room is a representation of who we are simply because we believe in us. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Rob. We will hear more from him later on in the next newscast, but for now, we're going to wrap it up here live in Des Moines. Thursday Leon, Local 5 News.